guys! And welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So we're almost done. Almost done, Lance is root. And I keep saying that every video so far. Like, this is the third one, I've probably said it in now. And yeah! <laughs> Will I get to the end? Maybe. I'm trying to make it so that my episodes for this aren't, like, around an hour long like they usually are. Because that's just a pain in the ass for me to edit if it's that long. And it's probably really boring to watch for that long. Like, I don't know if I make anything interesting enough for that. Especially since my voice acting, if you can even call it that, is very minimal and not very good. And, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I'm boring people when I do these videos rather than being entertaining. Uh, though I don't really do them necessarily to entertain other people, unlike a lot of YouTubers who that's their sole purpose in life when it comes to their creations. Uh, I more do it as a hobby and because I like it. And as long as I feel like I did a good job in making my video and choosing a good game to go with that is going to work on my laptop as well as be entertaining for me and maybe have it so I have a couple comments on how life works and how I view things and whatnot then that's that's perfectly okay with me I don't really I don't really need anything complicated to be entertained which I think I've proved with how many visual novels I've done since this whole thing started I think I'm coming up on my third year, my third year of being a YouTuber when I actually like started trying and making it a hobby. Cause like, yeah, I kind of started trying when I was in my very first place uh, that I moved into when I was still in grade 12. Because I moved out when I was 17, <clears throat> before grade 12 even started. And it's, uh, it, I'm, it's, if I count when I, ver when I started, uh, it was in the summer, sometime in June or July or something. And, uh, maybe a little bit earlier than that, like maybe in the spring, because I remember there still being snow on the ground, and that's... But not a whole lot of snow. Like, it's kind of like how it is outside right now, where, like, there's snow, but there's grass, too. And you're, it's, like, it's still cold. It's like that Canadian spring cold, where it's still winter, because it's, it's still cold enough to be considered winter. But yet, it's spring, because it's fucking March. At least when I'm recording this, it's March. It just turned into March 1st. So, like, ah, Canada is fucked. Our weather is fucked. We have six months of fucking winter, and then, like, two months of spring, and then, like, maybe, maybe three or four months of fall if we're lucky, if we're fortunate, maybe, and then the rest just turns into winter. Because sometimes we even get snow in fucking September, and, like, that hurts me because I'm a fall baby. I was born in September. Like, you can't take that away from me, Canada. That's bullshit. I like my maple leaves, even though I don't live where there's maple leaves. Which is annoying. <laughs> my province doesn't have maple leaves. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't. Maple trees, it's not warm enough for them here. <laughs> it's warm enough for them in, like, in BC. I know, uh, I think they're also in Ontario, pretty sure they're in Ontario, possibly Quebec, uh, I think they're in Quebec, yeah, and then just here in buttfuck hick town of Canada, Texas of Canada, it's, it's fucking no maple trees, yeah, at least where I live, specifically in buttfuck Texas. Hick Town, Canada section. Ugh, I want out of this province. One day. Anyhow, I've ranted on long enough like I always do, so let's just start. My phone on the bed rings loud. All right, all right, I'm getting it. I pick up the phone ringing desperately. I check the caller ID. It's mom. I answer right away. Hello? 
Oh, Mom. It's been a long time. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good, too. I called because... I already knew what she was going to say. It's always the same thing when she calls like this. They are coming back home. We have to stop by for something. I'll, let, I'll tell you the details when the date's set, but empty your schedule around this week. Let's have dinner together. As expected, Mom said she was coming. I nodded. Okay, sure. You haven't been here in a while. If I remember correctly, it's their first time coming back after Grandpa died. It is! Well, wait, I'll put it on your dad for you. He's right here. Honey? I hear her handing over the phone. I'm fine with it, but he feels a bit uncomfortable talking to me on the phone. It wasn't like that when I was young, but honestly, I don't remember since it was when I was so little. Come on, honey, don't you want to hear her voice? What, we'll be seeing her soon? Dad says he'll talk to you when he sees you. <laughs> Alright, tell me when the date's set. I'll empty my schedule for now. Okay, we really have to take a break and go on a vacation together. Things are just so busy! She always says that, but they've never actually taken a break. So unless I go to them, we rarely see each other. I did feel upset about it when I was little, but now I'm past the age to whine about it. I should try and understand them, since they are working hard for me. I should get going now. I have to go to work soon. Okay, I get it. Then call me soon. I hung up after a short goodbye. I haven't heard my mom's voice in a long time. It feels weird. Before, when I was all alone, I would have felt glad to take the call, but today I didn't really feel that way. Well, I do feel glad, but I don't feel so sad after hanging up. I was wondering about it when I saw the notes Lance gave me in my bag. Oh, right, that's why. It's not because I don't like my parents. It's because I'm no longer lonely or gloomy. And that's all because of the boys outside. I smile happily after seeing the notes. Smiling at something I have to study. <laughs> I must have really changed a lot. <sighs> then should I start studying now? I take out the notes Lance gave me. And I open the first page. Everything was organized and color-coded. The first page had a footnote. The red indicates you have to memorize it. The blue indicates the explanation. The star means it's going to be on the exam. Have this in mind. Wow, it's like its own... It's like it's... It's own... Oh, but, uh, but. Wow, it's like its own textbook. I'm really not confident about math, but this might really let me understand. Alright, I should do my best. I held my pen and smiled. I never knew I'd feel this happy while studying math. It's all because of Lance. Aww, it's a new chapter! Usually there's no background. When... Normally there's no background. Lance, for... For the first time I'm opening your head again. What the fuck's that supposed to mean?! What's going on? Grandpa and Lance. Do I have to click? Apparently I do. Hmm, let's see. I definitely remember opening it like this when I first bought you. Uh, I'm scared. What if it goes wrong? But I have to change the eyeballs. You can change the eyeballs? What the fuck? Uh, let's take a deep breath first. Lance, if I end up making a mistake, don't forgive this wrench owner of yours. You're my first ball joint doll, so I have no choice. Sorry I'm a beginner. Lance... Please, please let me succeed. Ha! You changed his eyes? Uh, it's morning. I think I dreamed something last night. I think Lance was in my dream. Was it the first time I changed a doll's eyeballs? Why did I suddenly dream about that? I reach out for my smartphone. Good luck on the exams. Aww, he's so cute! Good luck on your exam. Lance sent this text last night. I've been talking to him a lot, so maybe that's why I dreamed about him. <laughs> if I think about it, I have a lot of funny memories of Lance when he was a doll. He was my first doll, so I made a lot of mistakes, but I was that much excited. Terrible English sentence right there.
For the most part, they're spot on, but every once in a while you find these little itsy bitsy pieces and it's like, Kate, no, that's wrong, but you know, whatever, you're a foreign company, I get it. What time is it now? It was already eight. Today is exam day. Oh, fuck. Quick save and that shit. Let's do this. I know, oh no, I'm scared. It's gonna make me do a test. Last time I did really well, but you know what? It could just get harder. It could quiz me on Yunho's route, and I don't think I remember a lot of what happened. I re like, I remember stuff, but at the same time, it's like, ah. Thanks to Lance's notes, I could study harder than usual. We'll begin the exams now. Everyone put away your books into your bags. The exam started. Back! Tay likes antique books. Uh, yes. <laughs> All workers at Chariots are men. Yes. Oh, nope. Never mind. Yunho is shorter than the female lead character. Yes. Nope. Okay. Yuri has a talent for playing the harp. Nope. Uh, the transportation method Yuri uses is a cargo truck? No. Um, the female lead character never had a boyfriend before he went down at five. Uh, yes? Um, when is his nickname at Kirby? The academy is a very transfer student? Uh, no. Uh, the title and name of something is Yet I Can't Stay? Yes? Oh, fuck. There's an action hero poster on the wall! Uh, yes. Uh, when is his nickname at Kirby? Again? No. Uh, oh no. Is that, oh no. Oh no, I think I did badly. It gave me a nice, it gave me like a pass thing, but like, it's C plus? <laughs> that makes me feel like how everything in college is going, because that's pretty much my grade. <laughs> it's terrible, don't remind me. The exam ended. Yeah, good job everyone. As soon as the exam ended, everyone plopped down on their desks. Ugh, I feel as if my lifespan just got shorter. It's... it's over. I turned my head and found Lance packing his bag to head out. Still plopped down on my desk, I asked Lance. Lance, how did you do? I whispered and he looked at me. I don't know. We'll see after the results come out. Well, you are always smart. Maybe you'll be the first in class. I don't particularly care about my rank. Exams are about evaluating yourself anyways. There was nothing I particularly studied for. Oh, what you said. That's what valedictorians always say on TV. You know, I never really studied. I just make sure I know all the basics. I never went to private institutions. I just read the textbooks. You know, something like this. Zoe pouted with her pretty mouth. The exam must have been really difficult. Hey, Lance. I was able to get through the exam much easier thanks to Lance's notes. I wanted to say thanks. Do you want to go to Banjul now that the exams are over? I asked, thinking we could get lemon tea together. Oh, are you asking him out on a date? Huh, what? Wh what do you mean by date? Uh, no, no. I waved my hand, surprised by what Zoe said. A date? It's nothing like that. Wait, is it really nothing like that? I suddenly feel heated. W we could all go together? No, no. <laughs> I'm going to the karaoke room with Shinbi. Th then can I come along? I dare to ask. Oh, you want to come too? Then sure. The chicks should sing with us. What? Hey, let me go! Shinbi grabbed Yunho. Yunho, you want to go to the karaoke room, right? Right? Oh, um, that's... Then have a good time! Lance <laughs> <laughs> knows exactly what's going on. He just... <laughs> Lance seemed to sigh a bit, and he looked at me. Shall we? Uh, yeah. Well, since everyone said no, we'll have to go by ourselves. Uh, <laughs> I left awkwardly and came out of the classroom with Lance. I was just really glad exams are over. And besides, Lance is right next to me. It's the first time going anywhere with him just by ourselves. Tay must not be here. Welcome! Tay's off work today. Zeon, the waiter, beams at us. It is... Is it just the two of you today? I'll lead the way. Oh, thank you. Lance didn't say anything and followed Zeon with me. I don't remember if I gave Zeon a voice, so I'm just gonna go with what I've decided just this second. Two candied lemon tea, please. I ordered without asking Lance, but he didn't seem to mind. Zeon left after taking our order, and it was just me and Lance again. It's the first time coming here by ourselves. It is. <laughs> I'm so happy exams are over now. The math test was really easy thanks to you. Thanks, Lance. 
Nothing to thank me about. I'm glad it helped you. I was quite surprised to see Lance say that. I felt like his invisible wall was almost gone. I'm glad he now knows how to be kind to people and respond to gratitude. Zoe's been saying that Ice Prince's ice is melting nowadays. <laughs> what a lame rumor. No, it's a good rumor. That means you're nicer to people now. Remember what I told you before? I beam at Lance. He looks so shy and so cute. Ah. God damn it, he's adorable. I love it. This is so cute. I like this a lot. I remember what I told him at the rooftop after that fuss at the cafeteria. You've told me to be warmer to people around me and... And the manners you have to keep around girls. <laughs> that already feels like such a long time ago. I felt thankful that Lance tried to do what I asked. Thanks for trying. I feel happy to see you change. I smiled at him. Uh, oh, look at his cheeks. They're so red. Oh, babe, you're so cute. See, and now when I blush, I don't, or get flustered or anything like that. I don't think it's cute when I do it. I'm like, stop it. I hate you. Why are you doing this to me? And then I, I just don't know how to respond to anything and I hate my life and just everything sucks in that moment because I just, that's just how I am when I'm flustered and I get all blushy and my face is like the tomato and I just don't know how to do anything anymore. But when other people are like that, I think it's the most adorable fucking thing on the planet. And you know what? That's probably why, that's probably why, like, people sometimes purposely make my face red, is because they think it's cute. And it's like, no, it's not cute, you assholes. Fuck off. Like, that's where my thought process goes, but... It, yet, when fictional characters and real life people do it, I'm like, oh, you're so cute. And it's like, why? Why is this such a weird double standard for my own sake. Anyway. Huh? No, I just had a thought seeing you smile just now. Seeing me smile? Your smile. Every time I see it. Here are your drinks. Lance was interrupted. Oh, Mr. Hobbin. Uh, you remember me. Zion's busy, so I'm serving right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mr. Hobbin laid down two cups of lemon tea and disappeared. Ah, it smells so nice. This fresh lemon tea scent. Tay recommended this to me when I first came to this cafe. It was such a good choice. Oh, right. Weren't you saying something? It was nothing. Lance held the cup with both his hands. Huh? I'm pretty sure he was talking about my smile. Did I hear wrong? Now that exams are over, all we have to do is prepare for the festival. It is. How's the conductor job? Is it going well? There's nothing special. Anyone can do it. I laid down my cup. Lance? He must still have what Red said in mind. I remembered what I wanted to tell Lance after all that happened. I looked straight into Lance's eyes. You'll be great. I don't think it's an easy job. You'll be able to be much more meticulous and careful than other people. A festival conductor is a really important job. Depending on how you look at it, you can say that anyone could do it, but you'll be great at it. Because it's you, Lance. Aw, look at him! He's so startled and cute and adorable! Oh my god! People are gonna hate me because I'm fangirling so hardcore, but like, look how fucking cute he is! Just damn it! Why? Boys need to be more cute! Boys just need to be just super fucking cute, and then I'll just smother them with love and affection because I can't help it, because fuck. Just... I love cute things. I have a problem. I have a problem. Oh my god. <laughs> my life. Lance looked at me a bit surprised. Did I exaggerate too much? I was honestly a bit upset when Red said anyone could do the job. You're really good at being a discipline guide. That's because it's you. I didn't want your job to be something anyone could do. Thank you. Huh? Lance said thanks after quietly listening. I was a bit flustered since I didn't think it was something to be thanked about. I should really do my best then. Lance sipped his lemon tea. As you've said, there must be things only I could do. Yeah, yes, you're right. Lance, you're amazing. You're smart, you're rational, you're fair. Really, so... I almost said, really, so like a prince. What, what am I saying? Uh, anyways, you really helped me with the math exam. Thanks. Lance nodded slightly. He seemed to be a bit embarrassed, staying still like that. I quietly continued. 
Since I'm already saying thanks, you've helped me so many times, not just this once. I want to thank you for all of that. You mean until now? Yes. I close my eyes and recall all the times I felt thankful towards Lance. From the tiniest things up until today, there were so many things to thank him for. There was so much that I even felt a bit sorry. Of course the thing I'm most thankful for about is... Yes, that. Thank you so much for being with me from the start. Oh, he's so much more shocked than usual. When no one was beside me, you were with me. Thank you. Are you thinking about the time when your grandfather passed away? I nodded. I was so glad that Lance was beside me then. The huge empty house full of memories of Grandpa and my parents who tried to take me with them pained me. I could get through it because Lance was by my side. Getting through loneliness was the most difficult thing, and Lance filled that empty spot. If it wasn't for Lance, I would never have overcome my loneliness and I wouldn't be as positive as I am. It may have been Lance who let me stay with my memories of Grandpa despite my parents' disapproval. You know I went to Grandpa's room when you were sick? I honestly don't try to go in there, because I remember Grandpa every time. I was scared. I didn't feel brave enough to recall my memories with him. I started telling Lance things I never told anyone. Is it because the sweet lemon tea makes me feel comfortable? Or maybe I feel comfortable because I'm alone with Lance. I felt like I'd have to face my memories of him if I go into that room. This was my honest thought. He looks a lot like the president, now that I think about it. And I mean, like, the president of the school. I know in my head that Grandpa already passed away, but I didn't want to acknowledge it with my heart. You still miss your grandfather very much. Perhaps that is natural. You liked him very much. I realized that even as a doll, Lance said quietly. Other dolls probably won't understand, but Lance is a doll that knows about Grandpa, so I could easily nod at his words. He's right. I still miss Grandpa very much. So you do not have to try so hard. You just have to slowly get used to it. Lance. Huh? I was just supposed to reply to his comforting words when my phone rang. I saw the caller ID and number on the screen. It was... Mom. Hello? It's Mom! I know it's sudden, but we'll be flying in today! Today? Yes, let's have dinner together. Oh, uh, okay, um, where should I go? Do you remember the hotel we often stayed at? The one near the airport? Meet us there. Oh, then... Can you be there in an hour? So soon? I'll have to take a cab right now. Then do that. Alright, see you soon. You must really have just arrived at the airport since the call ended briefly. I blankly stared at my phone. An hour later, it takes at least 40 minutes for me to get to the hotel. Always so abrupt as usual. <sighs> Is it your parents? Yeah, they're here. They want to have dinner with me. I see. I think I have to get a cab right now. Um, yeah? Lance looks at me. If there's any trouble, call me. You never know what might happen. Oh. It's the first time Lance told me to call him. My face gets red again. It wasn't anything to get embarrassed about, but just now my heart began to beat fast. Yeah, uh, of course I will. I will. I answered awkwardly in a loud voice. Even when I left the cafe with Lance, my heart was beating fast. I didn't know why I was trembling so much. It was nothing. My clenched hands started to get sweaty in my pocket. She told me we'd see each other soon, but I didn't know it'd be this soon. I didn't even think about my parents this morning, and now we're having this fancy meal together. The clatter of silverware and calm classic mu classical music harmonized together. My parents always like to dine at a hotel, probably because it's simple and seems elegant. <laughs> Sounds like my family. My family pulls that stuff pretty frequently. My dad, mostly. He has this weird thing where he always has to try and live the life he can't have. Both of my parents are like that. They try and live above their means, and that's probably why they've had to file bankruptcy twice. 
and uh, I guess in a way they both blame it on each other, which is stupid. It's all stupid. Honey, doesn't she look brighter to you? Yeah, are you happy about something these days? Do I look that way? <laughs> well, I made a lot of friends recently, so it's been fun going to the academy. I'm glad you're doing so well. When you were little, you used to just play with dolls. I'm glad you have good friends now. I still play with dolls. Until very recently. Now I'm even living with human versions of them. <laughs> but I can't tell them that. They will never believe such a ridiculous story of living with dolls that have come to life. Well, they don't really know much about ball joint dolls in the first place. Since father died, I was worried about you being alone. I'm proud of you for doing well. Really? You never had a lot of friends. We were worried you'd spend too much time with Grandpa. We thought you'd get lonely after he passed away. But I'm glad you have so many friends. I must have worried about nothing. I can't believe you're so grown up now. <laughs> Honey, she's changed so much. Mom smiled satisfyingly. I was a bit offended that she spoke about Grandpa negatively, but I didn't say anything. Should we redecorate the house now so you can get rid of your memories of him? Holy shit, fuck you! What? I stopped moving my fork at this sudden suggestion. Mom continued without realizing I dropped the piece of food I was trying to spare. The house looks too old. We can change the TV and all the furnitures. How about it? That's a good idea. It might get a bit gloomy to see things that belong to someone who's no longer here. And it's time to throw away some of... And isn't it time to throw away some of your old things? I laid down the silverware I was holding on to and looked at my parents. Their intentions were good, but I was upset. No. You don't have to do that. Why? If you're worried about the cost, don't. It's not about the money. How should I tell them? It's a place with my memories. I want to leave it as is. In quick save. <laughs> I want to leave Grandpa's house as it is. It's the house I lived in with Grandpa for a long time. Sometimes the memories make me sad, but I don't think it's bad to be reminded of him like that. It's the house that contains all the memories Grandpa gifted me with. And not only of Grandpa, but also of Grandma. And all the new memories I've been making with the dolls. There are so many memories within that house. I don't want to get rid of it just because it's old. It's not much of a bad thing to be sad because of memories. That's how I get reminded of how much Grandpa had loved me. He's still an important person to me. I won't forget him just because we changed the furniture, and I won't change my mind about this. That is how much memories of Grandpa matter to me. Oh my, are you still that attached to your grandfather? Honey, it's nothing new. She's always followed him ever since she was young. Well, you were stubborn just like him. I understand that, but... Mom looked at me as if she had something more to say. Okay, do as you please. I'm finished. Can I be excused? We soon stopped talking about the house and Grandpa. My parents were about to start talking about their business, so I got up. Oh, already? We can get you a room at the hotel. You can stay the night. No, I have something to do tomorrow morning. I suddenly remembered the play rehearsal tomorrow morning. Thanks to the rehearsal, I didn't lie, but I wanted to get up even if there wasn't a reason. Because I was upset at how they talked about redecorating the house. It's not that I don't love my parents, but I can't stand it when they talk that way. I don't expect them to understand. They never spent a lot of time with me. It's natural they don't really know my thoughts and the way I live. So I can't expect them to understand everything. But I don't want them to just guess and interfere like this. Especially with things concerning Grandpa. Do you have money for a cab? I do. Don't worry. I'm sad you guys are leaving tomorrow. But I'll be off. Alright, I'll call you again. Okay. Then... I grabbed my bag and came out to the hotel lobby. I immediately got a cab and headed home. <sighs> I paid the fare and got out of the cab. If it weren't for that talk about Grandpa, we could have been more friendly towards each other. I feel bad because of it. I think back, wondering if I was too harsh to them. But in that situation, that was all I could say. I was still bothered by my dinner with them. I feel down. I had no idea they were thinking of getting rid of Grandpa's house. I felt more upset since I wasn't expecting it at all. You're back. Lance, were you out? I was approaching the front door when I heard Lance's voice. Lance was in front of the door. It was already dark, but he didn't seem to care. Lance comes towards me. You look tired. Oh. 
a bit. Did something happen? Clance asked. I felt better seeing him worry for me. Yeah, but it's nothing big. Clance stood in front of me quietly. He didn't move and just stared down at me. Seeing him stand still in front of me like that, I want to tell him everything that happened today. Can I tell you? <laughs> I heard Lance laugh from, from above my head. Ah, no! Go back! I accidentally double clipped. Do you need permission to talk? Why do you think I'm standing here? Oh, he's... Wait, but I double clicked. Oh. Why are you laughing? Don't laugh. There we go. Do you need permission to talk? Why do you think I'm standing here? Does that mean I can tell you? Lance laughed without saying anything again. But I suddenly didn't feel like talking even though he said yes. I was fidgeting when Lance spoke first. Go ahead. I will listen. Seeing Lance nod while saying that to me, I felt like talking again. I crouched down on the floor. My parents talked about Grandpa. It was easy after starting. They were always a bit jealous that I followed Grandpa more than them. Maybe that's why, but whenever Mom saw something she didn't like in me, she always said it's because I'm like Grandpa. Again, when I was being stubborn today, she said it's because I resemble him. I don't think Mom knew how important Grandpa is to me. No, she still doesn't know, or she would never have said that. Said what? She said since Grandpa passed away, we should get rid of his things and redecorate the whole house, saying I'll feel sad when I see his things. I remember how flustered I was when I first heard it. Actually, I felt flustered for a second, and then I got mad. This house is not just mine. It was Grandpa's precious house when he was alive. That thought made me feel more upset. When I heard that, I felt a bit mad. I don't want to throw anything away that contains memories of him. Yeah, you obsess on things that have memories. Lance nodded and said, What? Obsess? Me? Yes, you said so when you lost your phone the other time, that you feel sad when you lose things that contain memories. By Lance's words, I thought of what happened. Come to think of it, I did say that. You are that kind of person. You were odd for not seeing things as things, so of course you do not like it. Things that your father used are not just things to you. They are already something precious. Lance's calm words comforted me. He seemed to understand all the things my parents could not get. Lance knows me this well. Since when? Since when did Lance know so much about me? Lance opened his mouth again. So... I am really lucky. Huh? Lance's eyes twinkled like the night sky. Lucky? Such an odd person is my owner. You are such a strange owner. I felt like I was going to be sucked into his blue eyes. My heart started to pound again. I wonder what such a strange owner would think of a doll like me. I always wonder. Even now, that's all I think about. He sounded nervous, but his attitude was different. It was different from when he went crazy from when he went crazy feeling envious towards Red. His soft voice rang through the air and told me how he felt. I want to know how many memories you have of me. I felt as if Lance was chanting a spell. At his every word, my heart starts pounding and my face gets heated. It wasn't embarrassment, but immense happiness and gratitude. And lastly, uncontrollable butterflies. Lance started chanting again. Airy, tell me. Oh, this is the sweetest thing I've ever gone. Ah, this is so sweet. Ah. Uh... I like Lance a lot more than I do Yoon-ho right now. Like, I really do. Like, I like Yoon-ho because he's very attentive towards Eri, and he's always trying his best to make her happy, and that's a good quality to have, but... If you are someone like Eri who has a particular tough struggle with a particular thing, like, I know for me, I have depression and anxiety, and I have my ADHD, which all contribute to a lot of things that end up going horrendously wrong in my life. And I just, it's just one hurdle after another. And it's hard to think of it positively a lot of the time. And 
To have someone that's by your side who completely understands you as you are and is able to support you and make you feel good about yourself and good about your struggles even though you are having a tough time, like, it's really important to have. It's really important to have that kind of validation because you just feel like shit otherwise. If And, like, you can validate yourself. Like, there, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of things that are really good with that. But sometimes it's hard to do that when it's just you. Sometimes you need someone else to do it for you so that you can remember that things aren't really all that bad and that you're pretty all right as an individual. I just had to start talking when he said that. I was never this aware of Lance. To me, Lance is so special I can't even put it into words. Of course there are the memories of me making mistakes and being excited at my first ball joint doll. Being excited at my first ball joint doll. And the only doll that stood by my side when Grandpa died. He's my family, my friend, and my prince I always dreamed about. I'm surprised that you know this much about me. Lance, you're my precious doll I wouldn't change for the world. I couldn't read Lance's eyes. His expression was so complicated I couldn't tell if he was happy or sad. Oh, is he upset because I called him a doll? After seeing everything, I decided to change something since I felt like I treated him like a thing. Uh, no, you're not a doll now. I mean, a precious person. What you just said. Never take it back. What? I was stammering, trying to answer him when he suddenly grabbed my hands. This was definitely not the hands of a doll. They were warm and soft, and I felt like I could feel the warmth in my heart. Lance carefully leaned his head against mine. Lance? I'm worried you'll get a cold. My beating heart started to pound now. I couldn't tell if the heartbeat ringing in my ear was mine or Lance's. Maybe it's ours. Lance here, comforting me with his warmth, was really the prince I'd dreamt of. No, he's much kinder and more good-looking than the prince I'd imagined. And seeing Lance like that made me feel brave enough to be honest with him. I don't know if Lance would feel the same right now. Even if all my surroundings change. Even when the things I hold dear disappear. Even if Grandpa died. Even if Mom really does redecorate the house. Even if all the other dolls do end up disappearing. And even when sad things like that happen. Lance, I want you to... Always be by my side. My desperate wish rang between us. My voice trampled. I carefully told him a wish I always wanted to tell him. Of course. As long as time allows, I will stand by you. Lance held onto my hands tighter. I felt his sincerity through his sturdy hands. I can finally touch you like this. I can hold your hands and hold you in my arms. I will definitely be by your side. Lance never joked around, but he was more serious than usual. It sounded more like a pledge than a promise, and I felt so moved to hear it. I want you to recall memories through me and make new ones with me. And I want the world to show me... To... What? And I want the world to show me to be my everything? That's not a proper sentence, but okay. And I want the world... Oh, the world you show me! Oh, I get it now. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. And I want the world you show me to be my everything. I will always be your first doll. Fist doll. No! Don't do that again! No, that's going in a completely different direction! No, the moment's ruined! No! <laughs> this happened the last time too. Fist hands instead of, or fist names or something instead of first names. Oh my god, no! And I literally just edited that video today. No! <gasps> no! Stop it, chariots! You're making things unnecessarily dirty. And all in the wrong spots. Like, 
Are you just that eager for me to get with Yuri? Like, stop it! <laughs> His sincerity spread through my heart. I bet it did. <laughs> I can't take this seriously right now. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh my god. Damn it, Chariots. Why do you have to fuck shit up for me? Ugh, since these videos are made with the Creative Commons license, people are gonna have a really fun time with making like highlight reels of my reactions or some shit. I bet that's gonna be a thing one day. Just like all these other YouTubers people do that for. God. My heart was too full for words that I couldn't even say thank you. Lance just silently looked at me. <coughs> He'd held on to my hands for a long time, and when he let me go, all my troubles were already far gone. Even if they try to redecorate the house, I won't be so scared now. <coughs> of course, I'll be sad to see the house go and all my memories of Grandpa fade away, but even then Lance will be by my side. He promised, so I'm no longer scared. You wouldn't know how anxious I really am. You don't know. You don't know how scared I am of turning back into a doll. How scared I am of one day not being able to be with you. But I can't even say it since it will worry you. Oh no. Oh fuck no. Oh no. No, 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 no. You know. Don't. No. No. No, he better not turn back into it all. That better not be a thing. Like, th that's the thing that's been worrying me. Like, this whole fucking time I've been doing these playthroughs. Like, even with Yunho's, there was that brief second of, oh shit, he's gonna turn into a doll. But then instead, I'm the one who fucking disappeared. And it's like, what the fuck? And I'm still mad about that, by the way. I'm still upset. I'm, st I'm not over that. I need an explanation for that shit. And now, because the next chapter is probably the last chapter, something is probably going to go horribly fucking wrong that's going to have an ambiguous ending again, and I'm going to be like, what the fuck? It's just going to fuck me up so bad, and I just don't know what to do. Oh, no, I can't. I'm not prepared. Oh shit, it's almost 11 o'clock. I really need to read my, uh, sociology notes before that quiz. Whoopsie-daisy! Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna put off the next, uh, chapter because I'm not prepared for this and I have a quiz tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Woohoo! And then I have English at 9 a.m. Yay! Morning classes. Don't fucking do them for college! It hurts you! It hurts you in the end! You just, no, don't do it. Next year I'm gonna try to make them later in the day, cause, no. No, 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 it's awful. Just don't, don't, don't do it to yourself, please. I'm, don't. If you're going to post-secondary, do not make yourself do morning classes. You think you can handle it because you did it in the past, either for work or for, like, school before like grade school but like no just don't do it don't do it don't do it to yourself don't be evil don't be evil don't be evil thinking you're being good for yourself just don't okay okay promise me you better be fucking promising me okay anyway i'm going later mm -hmm.